What's up, v -v 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 video bloggers? Everyone out there is doing great. I'm sitting here with my boy Taz. Taz has been really sick over this weekend, this Labor Day weekend, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then today, when I came home, he looked like he's back to his old self. But I still had to take him to the vet. Um, he's we're waiting on blood work to see what's going on with him. But uh, he's doing pretty good. Taz, you have a public out here that really cares about you. You know that. I'm getting emails about you, Sonny boy. Yeah. So, Taz, say hi. Say hi, say hi to everybody over here. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> so, um, oh my God, something so freaking hilarious happened today. Um, so, I like to customize the notification sounds on my phone. And so, currently, I have this. I need you. And... So what happened was I was in the restroom. So just as I started to like unzip, this guy came over to the other side of the urinal and he started, you know, and he was like asking me, hey buddy, how's your day going and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, pretty good, thanks, how about you? And he's like, oh, great. Right after he said great, my boy Alex sent me a text and <laughs> it was so loud in the restroom and it was just like, it was so awkward and I was like, I was trying to stifle my laughter so much just to, at, oh god, like the moment that guy left, I started laughing. I was laughing on the way uh, to the elevator, down the elevator, and out the building. I was just in tears. <laughs> um, so, welcome to the Unvlog 8. For those of you that don't know what an Unvlog is, those of you that are new to my vlog, speaking of which, 1,200 plus subscribers. Oh my god, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so touched. I'm I'm in awe as to how many of you out there have subscribed and you communicate with me and you know you know there's interaction and stuff like that it's it's great it's fantastic I really love it um, for those of you that don't know what an unvlog is it's what other people would call a mashup it's essentially me talking about stuff that's going on in my life so that way when I do vlog on a topic I'm not straying away from it taking three minutes out of the vlog letting you know what happened in my life or what is going on in my life and I'm not sure but I think this vlog might be really long um, and I know that there are a lot of you out there that stick it through to the whole video and I, I oh my god I'm like because the other day I was watching what was it though what the vlog it's like over 30 minutes and I was like okay now I know this vlog is long but who stuck it out to the end from the beginning to the end I mean I mean, I don't know how annoying I can be in my vlogs. I mean, or if I am annoying, I'm sure that there are some facets of myself that people, uh, <laughs> that people, that maybe people can only take uh, so much of. But um, so that's what the unblog is. I mean, it took me so many minutes already just to explain what the hell it was. Uh, so a couple vlogs back, I did a vlog called Patriots and Pretenders. Now there are a couple other things that I can add to the things that people don't know, they're not knowledgeable of your United States flag and the federal laws that govern the the, the usage of it. Like <laughs> I know police officers, you guys are supposed to protect and serve but you're also supposed to know and observe the laws of the United States by doing this you're actually breaking a federal law the same thing for the firefighters that make their own firefighter flag you're not even supposed to make uh, the flag in an apparel whether it be a hat or boxer shorts I'm sorry Apollo Creed <laughs> but I mean you know <laughs> it's crazy people wearing Uncle Sam costumes that are adorned with stars and stripes for Halloween you're not supposed to be I mean they're not supposed to be making them you're not supposed to be wearing them um, and then the other one is the gay pride flag okay as the United States flag you're not supposed to make the rainbow colors where the 13 colony stripes should be look I'm look I'm not trying to protect the United States freaking government laws. I'm just saying like you guys are not observing them. That's your country. You know what I mean? But I mean, you know, you guys are supposed to know this shit. Um, the one, the the one thing that really bugs me about the gay pride American flag is 
The first time I saw it done was when I saw a picture on Facebook of like four strapping young men holding the gay pride American flag up. It was, to me, it was very hurtful because I have family members who uh, have served in the United States Marine Corps during uh, peace and wartime, mostly wartime. Like that is a big thing for the United States Marine Corps. And when I saw that, I, I actually felt offended, okay? All of my family, they're all Marines, except for one brother who uh, is in the Army, and he's like way up there. But still, I mean, I know that he observes these things, but it's just like, you know, you, know, you, you can't customize or tailor what your beliefs are and fashion it to the United States flag. It's just fucked up and it's also illegal. Uh, and then also in another vlog I did called uh, Regression, I meant to tell you this story and put it in this vlog. I, I Sometimes I, I forget concussion, you know? Um, but uh, yeah, um, so what happened was long time ago, maybe 20, maybe even, maybe more than 20 years ago, um, th we had a next door neighbor at my mom's house, right? At my house, you know, my folks' house. And we had this next door neighbor who was this woman who was very grouchy. Uh, mm -hmm. She didn't socialize at all. She she had very poor social skills. She was, uh, wasn't, I wouldn't say she was mean. I just uh, I'd say that she wasn't sociable. But what happened was one day she came over to our yard knocked on the door and was making accusations that my cousin and his friend stole her surfboard and my mom was like uh, do you know who my nephew's friend is his my nephew's friend's father makes surfboards so he can have any kind of surfboard he wants why would he steal yours you know things like this. If you don't approach them with kid gloves, you know, if you know, if you don't approach them with, you know, a sense of decorum, you know, a sense of class and dignity, they can get out of hand. They can snowball. They can escalate really, really fast. And that's what happened. And you know, my auntie was visiting. Uh, she was visiting for like two months, and my auntie got into it. My uncle got into it because you know, th you know, they were, you know, that woman next door. She was, you know, she was, she was blaming his son you know my cousin and um, so it's like the whole family just like got in and kind of ganged up on this lady I mean look I understand that this lady was unyielding in her accusations but at the same time like you know you're ganging up on one person like when I saw this stuff unfolding I fucking walked away from that I I pulled away from that so fast because I'm like you know what everybody is feeding off of this you know this this tension, this aggression, and thinking it's it's fun or funny, or maybe something to to poke fun at. And I did it. I just see it as absolute regression, and I stepped away from it. And it, my mom was like ready to strangle this lady. Like she was making some you know vulgar comments to my mom, and my mom was just like tear the fucking airport off. Like come here, bitch, blam. But I was just like, oh my god, I was standing inside the house watching like fucking 15 people outside the house my family side and then that one lady and I was like you know that's not fair that's not fair okay and I know she's making unfair accusations and she's not backing down from them you know without any real viable proof but this is this is this is it's not right I, I just backed away from that real fast luckily before it escalated um, a friend of ours who is a police officer came down and told my family hey don't you think that you know that it's you know 1 to 15 is like too much I mean you know some of you guys could have backed off and whatnot so the, the issue got diffused but seriously I was just like and that's why I don't identify I don't relate to my family so much and stuff because you know I don't I can't relate to anyone who doesn't evolve alongside with me and I know that's I know I know I'm expecting a lot of a lot out of someone but we're not supposed to 
stay in the same stagnant pool. We're supposed to crawl out of that fucking pool and go, oh my god, look, these fins, I, they actually double his hands. I can crawl up out of the water. Oh my god, look, I just grew a prehensile tail. I can climb into the fucking trees and grab fruit, you know what I mean? And then, oh my god, look, the, oh look, I just dropped the tail. Oh my god, look, I'm, I'm, I'm walking upright. Holy shit, look, I can drive an automobile. We're supposed to evolve every fucking day. And if we can't do that, then we're just, we're, we're just regressing back into that pool. So I have a lot of news to drop in this vlog. Um, I've already let some people know and a lot of people are kind of heartbroken, but I'm leaving Massachusetts. I'm moving back to Hawaii. Um, my parents are getting older. I want to spend time with them, take care of them, look after the land. I want to cultivate the land. My dad has three and a half acres in the backyard and I want to cultivate that land and, and grow fruits and vegetables and be sustained um, and, and, and stay away from having to purchase my produce from the stores. Um, I want to. I want to. Uh, I want to. I want to go out to the ocean and spearfish my food every damn night. Um, live a more healthy, active life like that. Um, you know. So, yeah, that's 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 going on. Um, it's kind of hard on me because Massachusetts and New England has become my second home. Um, the indigenous population is my family and I'm going to miss them all terribly. Um, yeah. It's, uh, but I'm going to continue vlogging, okay? I actually just got a text earlier today from my dear friend Kelsey and she is asking me, so you're gonna continue to vlog, right? I'm like, oh yeah, this is my thing. I can't, I can't walk away from this. Not with this many people, you know, you know, awaiting my vlogs and you know and stuff. Not to mention the fact that a lot of you out there, oh my God, I, I am so incredibly humbled to hear what you think of me and your concern for me. You all are looking out for me. I hear stuff like. If we don't get a vlog from you once a week, we worry. So you have to communicate with us. I'm like, you know what? You're totally right. You are totally right. Um, and uh, so update on the concussion. Um, I haven't seen the white butterflies for maybe about three to four weeks. Uh, hi, son. <laughs> Such a good kid. Um, um, by the way, Taz is going to be staying here in Massachusetts, and it breaks my heart. But his mom, my ex-wife, she pays for his food, pays for his vet bills, um, pays for his medication. So, you know, I, you know, what is that? What's that old saying? If you love something, set it free. He's always been free, and um, yeah, it's very difficult. But um, we're we're connected in here and here and here. So he'll never he'll never be without me and I'll never be without him. This is my sunny boy for life. Yeah. Oh what was I what was I talking about? Oh yeah. Um uh the concussion stuff. Um memory gaps are still there. Uh I haven't seen the the uh, bright glowing butterflies for about four weeks. Um migraines are getting really bad. Uh the sensitivity to sunlight is coming back. Um Sensitive, sensitivity to sound uh, it just it just makes me want to crawl into my bed and sleep the day over but I don't want to do that um, so a couple of weeks ago a very dear friend of mine who is Katua Cherokee uh, had uh, we've, we've known each other for maybe about a year maybe a little bit more um, but uh, you know we talk to each other all the time and um, you know, she told me, she said, hey, I have something that I want to tell you. And I said, okay, well, lay it on me. And she says, earlier this week, I was mistaken for a man 
you know, because she had just cut her hair, but it wasn't like like butch short, but she cut her hair really cool, really rocking hair, and I, I guess like somebody called her a sir or a gentleman in some way, um, you know, uh, and she said it's never felt more right, and I was feeling really like I felt like I had lost something, you know. I still wrote to her. I said, I said, yo, I love you 100%. I totally support what you're going through. Um, I got your back, you know. But I wasn't really being honest, okay, because shortly after I sent that text, I was almost in tears. I was so upset and distressed and depressed that I just laid down in bed and went to sleep. And when I woke up, I wet my phone back out and I, and, and like I wrote her a text and I said, hey, Look, I want to be honest with you, okay? I do fully, completely um, support you. I have to tell you that I don't know why, but this is hitting me really hard because I had another friend of mine who had come out as trans and I was totally fine with it. I don't know why it's hurting, hurting me as much as it is with you. I said, but I want to let you know that I'm not a selfish person. I am more happy for you then I am sad for myself. And so I told him, I said, you, you know what, you make a fabulous bro. So a couple of weeks back, I was in downtown Worcester and on Thursdays, they do this thing with like the food trucks and free entertainment and it's really fun. Um, and there's a lot of different booths to sign up for things and you know, uh, you know to join worthy causes, you know, and uh, to, uh, to sign petitions and whatnot. And so this very handsome young man came up to me, his name is B. He asked if I support transgender rights. And I said, oh, absolutely. And he goes, oh, wow, okay, cool. I, I guess it, it caught him off guard. And he goes, well, uh, can I ask you why? And I was like, well, um, I'm actually, well, I'm not transgender, but I'm actually what people, what people call intersex, okay? Um, for those of you that don't know, I am an XX male, which means I have, I have two female chromosomes, but I have male anatomy. Um, pretty rock in the male anatomy, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Why did I even go there? Should I cut that out? No, don't. Um, but um, um, so I, I said, I, I said, so you know, I, you know, I totally understand, and I, and I totally support. So if you're a registered voter and you live in Massachusetts, I highly suggest that this November you vote yes to defend transgender equality, in Massachusetts. Go check it out at freedommass.org. See what you can do for your community. Um, huge shout out to all my trans folks out there. Love ya. So a lot of you out there have been asking me if I've heard back from Boston Casting. I have not. Uh, so by this point already, I already know that I didn't get the role of Mr. Pfeiffer for this television movie. Um, but it's, it's okay, it's cool. And uh, as for Taza, uh, unfortunately, Hawaii has very strict rules on exotic pets and uh, bearded dragons are on the ban list because there are no natural predators in Hawaii. I mean, the Big Island of Hawaii has uh, the Hawaiian hawk, but the numbers are very, very decreased. I'm not even sure a Hawaiian hawk would even find a bearded dragon or any other reptile pleasing to eat. But um, So unfortunately, Ta uh, Taza is staying here as well as Taz. Um, yeah, it sucks. Um, but a couple of months after I get settled back home, I'm going to have my ex-wife send him to me. Shh, don't tell. It's not like I'm going to breed him and let all the little babies loose or anything like that. It's just going to be me and the little guy. Um, but yeah, you know, I, you know, it's sad for me to leave Massachusetts and all the... All the friends I've made <laughs> and all the freaking arrows I've shot you know what I mean that's gonna be a thing of the past um, but I'm still gonna be vlogging you know but I mean I am really looking forward to hitting the beach every single day and browning my body up again and I used to be so dark man and then when I come here I spend like freaking six seven 
months indoors and then even in the summer months when it gets too hot I'm I'm indoors keeping cool but I'm gonna be happy to, to get back home and you know I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to swimming every freaking day and get my body back into the magnificent fabulous shape that it once was in uh, start eating pure because I'm gonna be fishing and spear fishing right then and there of course you guys are gonna come along on my journeys I might have to get a GoPro for that, but um, yeah. Uh, so anyways, for those of you who don't know, uh, I do have a Patreon. If you would like to support it, contributions of any size are greatly appreciated. Uh, my goal is to get a 4K camera so y'all can see me in higher definition quality. Yeah. Uh, like, would you really want to see this face in higher definition? Well, I have no wrinkles really, so um, yeah. Like, yeah, give me your worst. Um, so, yeah, things are, things are happening, man. Um, I've made a lot of very close friends here, a lot of, a lot of people I love out here, and, uh, but, I mean, I've been off of Facebook since last October, and I still keep in contact with these people outside of, uh, social media. And um, even though I'm going to be outside of this time zone, outside of four different time zones, actually, you all still going to be in my heart. So, um, New England will never leave me. New England will always be a part of me. Um, it, it's actually really hard for me to talk about this right now because I'm, I'm, I don't want to get emotional about it, you know, yeah, especially not on camera. Um, yeah, so this vlog was supposed to be for Tuesday, but seeing as this is Tuesday right now, but actually when you're watching it, it's Thursday, so it's a little time jump. No, it's not. I know. Shut up. Um, uh, this entire past weekend, the, uh, what the hell was it? Uh, Labor Day. It was so unforgivingly hot outside, so I spent it indoors, um, you know, packing away. Um, making arrangements, making calls, and uh, playing PUBG. If you don't know, I'm on PUBG Mobile. Blam! Friend me, but you know what? I delete people, man. If if we don't get synergy points, three or four times, maybe. I gotta pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. Like up to maybe like 200, and keep playing with each other and stuff like that. Then I'm gonna delete you. I don't I don't want to have like hundreds and hundreds of friends. If they're not going to be playing with me all the time and stuff like that. But I'm sorry. That's just the way I am. I mean, you know, I'd rather have like a small group of friends that are playing with me often. Like, you know, so, I mean, I, I think I think I had 163 friends and I whittled it down. I think I have like 53 right now. And there's still people I have to delete. <clears throat> but because, I mean, if they're never online or like they never add me or if I request to join uh, their game and, and they're I'm like yeah forget it you know if it, it's all about the synergy points In any case, I've rambled on. That means I have a lot to edit. You have a lot to edit. Do you know that you have a lot to edit, Kainoa? Dude, you have no idea how much I have to edit. You fucked up and you rambled on. Yeah, I did ramble on, didn't I? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that, bro. That's cool, bro. I love you, man. I love you back, bro. I love you back. So, thank you all so very much for watching. You big dummy. Uh, liking, commenting, interacting, subscribing, and sharing. Mwah. Much love to all you guys, girls, and everyone in between out there. Uh, I greatly appreciate the support y'all have been showing me. Um, you're fantastic. And I love you all. I hear air what do. Shilk on a journey, Njugonanda, Dona Dago Hai, Pishkunanamush.